Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at um, map plots with Bokeh. Let's get started. So first off, let's go on and create up a new file here. And so we're going to call this um, just what we're going to be doing. We're going to be recreating the state unemployment um, uh, em employment map. And so let's go on and grab uh, what we're going to need in here. Uh, so first off is from uh, bokeh dot uh, plotting. We're going to import in here figure, and we're going to import show. And then we also want to grab from bokeh dot models import here our log uh, color mapper. We're also going to do from palettes uh, from bokeh palettes. We're going to import in here uh, the Verdellus, and we're going to do um, six, I believe, uh, as, and we're just going to call this as palette. So then we can just kind of uh, reference it a little bit easier. Uh, then the next thing that we're going to do is um, from bokeh dot sample data dot unemployment. We're going to say import data as unemployment. And from bokeh.sampledata.counties, US counties, uh, we're going to import data as counties. Then uh, let's go on and uh, change up the color scheme in here uh, so uh, the palette is going to be and again we're overriding this it's going to be a tuple we want to reverse I said reverse uh, the palette we're doing that as a tuple uh, now something that we're going to want to do here is to grab out the data so both of uh, our data sets here this is a dictionary and so is uh, so is our counties and so we're going to want to kind of extract some data out there because they are quite large so the first one is the counties themselves we're going to want to grab out um, we want to actually grab out everything by the specific state we want basically it'll have um, all of the outlining uh, longitude and latitude coordinates uh, and so first off let's call this um, counties in here and then we're going to do something like uh, we want the code to be a uh, county for um, code uh, county in uh, what do we want? Uh, county dot, and then here are counties dot items. Okay, because we want to split split those apart. We're going to have in here. So what this will grab is we'll have uh, the state code, for example, and then we'll also have in here um, some uh, county information and some data. So then we also want this, for example, um, we want this as an if statement. Uh, and then uh, county uh, and the state itself is equal to, and uh, in this example, since I'm in Arkansas, we're going to do AR for Arkansas. And uh, again, you can change this up to any state that you want. Um, and probably in a later video, what we'll do is we'll turn this into maybe like a selection tool or a text box or something like that so that we can add in a widget in there and some interactivity and we'll we'll do that in uh, a later video so the next thing is we want to actually create up our x and y axes so uh, county our x-axis in here will be something like um, uh, what do we want we want this county's values right so uh, we want a county and we want the longitude um, for county in counties dot values, and then we're going to do this again here, but instead we want our y axis 
in here and we're going to change this to latitude. So for our lats. Um, and then, whoops, latitude. There we go. Uh, and then let's do our county names. Now the reason we're going through and doing this um, is because this is this is the the way that this is set up. It's kind of um, this county's dictionary. Okay, is a list of all the counties, and then inside of there, there's another dictionary. Okay, so it's it's a dictionary of dictionaries. And what's happening is that we want to grab out. For example, we want to grab spe a specific state, and then inside of that, um, there is uh, all the counties inside of the the state. And then you want to grab, for example, specific values. So you want your longitudes and latitudes. We want the county name. They even have like a detailed county name. Uh, we also will have the unemployment rates from our unemployment uh, data set as well. So we'll, we'll do that as well. So let me get back um, to this. So county name um, for county in counties.values. Uh, Oh, whoops, county. All right, and then the next one, we want our county rates. So for our unemployment rate, so we want unemployment. And then we're going to have some uh, county um, ID for county ID in our counties. And then let's also grab our color mapper. Let me put that a little bit further down. And here, this will be our log color mapper. And again, we're going to set our palette equal to our palette. Um, and just for um, kind of some organization, I'm actually going to put this with all of our palette stuff so that we kind of can see what's going on there. And our county stuff is going to all be there as well. So the next thing that we want is actually to create up um, a data dictionary with all of our current data. This will make it a lot easier for us to access it when we're wanting to make um, some um, hover tools and that type of stuff um, with our um, with our uh, map. So first off, let's go on and have x equal to our uh, county x axis. Y here is going to be our county y. And then uh, we also are going to want a name, and that is our county names. And then we also want our rate here, and that's going to be our county rates. So then this will give us uh, a nice little bit of a data uh, set that we can access. And again, it's more in the dictionary type format for us. Uh, so let's go on and actually grab in and set up what tools we want. Uh, and so let's have something like pan. We want the wheel, uh, wheel zoom specifically. Uh, and then we want a reset button. Um, we also want um, to hover and we want a save feature. So let's add these in and create up our figure itself. So the title in here will be Arkansas uh, an employment for 2009 I believe that's the year that the data is set for uh, and then our tools is going to be tools then we have our x-axis location in here and we're going to turn it off uh, and then the same thing with our y-axis location we're going to turn it off again so we have none and then um, our tool tip itself um, is going to be something like um, a list and then we want this we want the name of each county and then we want at name to actually grab that uh, name then we're going to want something like unemployment rate and then again we'll do something like at rate and then let's also go through and put in um, our longitude and latitude as well. So here we want uh, longitude, latitude, and then we'll actually 
have that as something like um, x, y. That'll look good, I think. And then let's go on and make sure that all of our palettes are going to be um, looking nice uh, in our grid lines. So p dot what? What do we want? We want the grid, and then we also want to grab the grid lines. And we're going to set that to none, uh, because again, if you have those grid lines over the top of your um, your map, it's going to look really weird. And then let's go on and set up our uh, hover policy. Okay, and that is going to be following the mouse. And then let's go on and put in um, our patches. And here in the patches itself is this is actually um, where we're actually creating the map, okay? Because um, think about these matches is uh, very similar to like a chloropleth. Um, and so we do our X and our Y's for our longitude and our latitude. Our source is gonna be our data. And then we want our, our fill color in here. Uh, and it's going to be something like our field. Uh, and then we want the rate. Okay, so it'll be by the rate. And then we want to transform this, uh, this uh, data. Okay, with our color mapper. Uh, and then let's go on and also add in here. We want our fill alpha to be 0 0.6 our line color in here um, to be uh, let's have it black for now and we'll see how that looks we'll have our line width in here and this actually needs to be pretty small so we'll do 0 0.5 and again um, as with everything else we need to show P oh, and I have an extra in here so let's go on and run this and we'll take a look Oops, and I seem to have an error in here, and it says that it does not like one of my strings inside of our tool tip. So it failed to validate, expected an element of either null string and list of tuple string. Okay, so let's go back up. Oh, and right here um, is I am missing. A parenthesis and that sh and then I have an extra parenthesis here I believe that should work all right, let's run that and double check all right so that works and here we can see that we have um, a map of Arkansas and as we have our hover tip in here um, I can actually see that I had um, some little bit of uh, some misprints in here um, so you can see that the longitude and latitude is missing a uh, parenthesis, and so let's go back and we can fix that in here. Um, put it in right there. Rerun this. All right, and now we see that our hover point is correct. Um, so we can also let's just double check and let's go on and change this up instead of Arkansas. Uh, I'm actually just going to say unemployment. And then let's go on and change this up. Let's say that we want this for uh, California. All right, California seems to work as well. Um, we'll do something maybe like um, Florida. Okay, Florida looks well. Um, now one thing that you may notice, and I can show you an example that I know looks kind of weird and wonky. Here's if I do Illinois. It does look a little stretched, okay? And you can you can mess with the sizing settings that you want. Um, now, uh, again, maybe something like you want to make sure it scales to fit or something like that to make it look nice. But overall, this is a very nice way to show maps, particularly whenever it looks like we're doing some sort of county map or city map or anything else. You can follow um, this type of template in order to show your data. Um, so I suggest that you guys kind of uh, play around with it and be able to um, kind of exercise what you guys feel like would be um, nice to play with. 
uh, whenever you are uh, looking around with it. Probably in one of the next following videos we'll add in um, some widgets so that you can maybe select. We'll put like some selection box over here so you can select which what state you want to see or maybe a drop down or something like that. Um, and maybe even play with the color schemes as well. So if you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.